what's up YouTube uh, hopefully this video isn't too windy um, I'm by a highway and it's windy outside so there you go but I finally found some 19s I've been trying to get this video out for like a week but I finally got the time there's one 19 got another 19 here this will be the Z71 uh, that's just the normal I guess Texan edition I don't know if it's an LT model or what but I'm gonna go car uh, I guess truck the truck we'll figure out you know the differences together um, I've been here 30 seconds honestly haven't really looked at it much um, I gotta say the hood looks badass I think the hood looks sick I don't know if y'all have seen these yet in person but the hood looks pretty mean it's got some pretty you know I guess aggressive indentions to it um, one thing I've been wanting to see is the carbon fiber in the head in the headlights I don't know if y'all see that right there it's got carbon fiber it's kind of a cool detail um, not sure you know if it's wrap or, or what but anyways I, I think that looks pretty dope gotta say they look they they don't look as ugly in person I mean it's it's ugly don't get me wrong but it's not as ugly as you might think I think with a couple modifications you can make these things look badass um, definitely want to get rid of those running boards if you buy one of these look, that, that's ugly as hell um, this one's got the 18s on it that one's got 20s I believe it didn't have a tire size but they look like 20s I'm gonna assume they are I, I mean, I checked all four tires, legit no tire size on them. Those are for sure 18s. Um, one thing that looks kind of cool to me, I don't know how y'all feel about it, but kind of reminds me of a ridge line to it in some way, but this back thing, it has like a, it's almost like a fin. It's kind of sick to me. Kind of gives me that ridge line look. I mean, I'm not gonna, I don't, I don't like Honda, so don't, don't flame me too much on that, but it looks kind of dope, I think tailgate honestly to me it's a little too flat um it could look right exhaust tips gotta go let's be real those are those are hideous um steps are a little awkward too i think i don't know it just it just seems big i mean i, I wear a ten and a half and i if if my ankle was there my whole foot would go there um pretty big step i mean it looks a little awkward to me but whatever i guess you know it's gonna take some getting used to um it definitely looks like a like a tundra and a ford had sex and made this ugly retarded child uh but it really isn't too ugly just i i really think if you do some mods you can make these look right interior looks practically the same um, the buttons are a little weird, I think, on the radio. If you look at the, it's got the volume and the the the, uh, the the like the scan. Those are gonna be the top left and top right button. They look a little awkward to me. It's got a ton of little buttons right here. Jesus, kind of clustered in my opinion, but I don't know. You know, it's gonna get some getting used to. The uh, center console looks like ass. I gotta say that's one of the ugliest looking center console designs. It's actually where you put like the drinks and stuff, like right. I'm saying like right there. That what is that pocket? I mean, I'm sure your phone goes there or something, but that just looks ugly. The seats look like they got some different design to them versus you know the normal one, or I guess the ones I have. Doesn't look too ugly. Um, seats really do look like Ford seats, like the. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Ford seats, um, like the like the cloth, but that reminds me of the cloth, like right there in the center. Got a nice dark, you know, wood grain to it. Not too bad. Eh, I guess it'll do. I know a lot of people are saying the mirrors are kind of ugly. Me personally, they don't look too ugly. I mean, they are definitely kind of ugly. Not, not too bad. Not about y'all, but I, I think I'm kind of happy with Chevy going back to these circular wheel wells. I think they got enough shit. And they finally just had to do it. Um, this is good news for people too. You get a leveling kit or something, you can definitely clear a little bigger tire with less lift. So I know a lot of people are gonna like that. Us lower guys, you know, we're gonna be able to slam it, and the and whatever we put under there is gonna look tucked way more than it does now with the square wheel wells. I'm, I'm for that. Kind of weird. It doesn't have mud flaps back here. I mean, I don't care about mud flaps. But it's a little weird to me. Um, looks like it's got the Rancho shocks, the red right here. Yep. 
Z71 package is gonna have the Rancho shocks every time, I believe. Um, damn, those are so ugly, those tips. Holy hell. Pretty good overall. I wonder if that's a one or two piece drive shaft. Let's see. Yeah, still a one piece drive shaft, so I'm sure. It's gonna, oh, sorry. I'm sure it's still gonna have some Chevy shake to it. Um, it's a long ass drive shaft, man. Overall, I mean, it doesn't look too bad uh, from the under. Let's go to the other truck with the, I think the other one had a little upgrade on it. it, it something about it just seemed classy. I mean, those wheels or those wheels, I'm thinking that's going to be an upgraded package personally. It's pretty dope. Is it just me or, or yeah, I guess, I guess they did used to paint these. I guess now we're going black on these. Yeah, I guess every Silverado I look, I, I see out there has painted B pillars. So I guess... We're going black now. Um, I don't like that black personally. It's kind of just like a cheap material. You can tell. I prefer if it was like gloss. That's just me. Um, I'm sure you can still wrap it or whatever, but I just prefer them to be a little more advanced. Looks like this one's got the ugly radio too. Same interior. Nothing special there. It's pretty sick. Um, I wonder if they're going to come out with a 6.2 single cab. If anybody knows. You know, talk about that in the comment uh, below. Also, I'm gonna be pinning the funniest comment. So if you got something funny to say about these trucks, say it and I'm gonna pin it. Um, definitely wanna have some fun with this video in the comments. I mean, y'all always be cracking me up. And yeah, this was an LT, I was right. So that's LT, that's an LT Z71. Kind of weird. Oh man, just noticed something really ugly. Why is that Texas Edition bad to half whip the door? You know, it's normally, you know, it's normally like uh, a little lower. Like, look at that truck. It's like lower than the. F I guess it's in the same position if you think about it. Or it's, I don't know. It just seems a little higher. Maybe it's because they don't have this this trim piece right here anymore. That's. I mean, there's nothing there. It's just a body line now. So I think maybe if they did add something there across, it could look kind of cool. But then again, a lot of people take those off, like those those little trim pieces. I like them personally. But Z71. Looks, looks kind of cool. I think the Z is a little overrated or, you know, like big in my opinion, but I'm sure we're going to be seeing people do Z71 badge swaps on their old trucks with the new ones. I think that could be a kind of a cool thing. You put like one of those on an OBS, that'd, that'd be kind of dope. Maybe. But uh, yeah, that's, this is going to be my review so far. I mean, overall, it doesn't look as ugly as I remembered. I wonder if this got an upgrade. Ooh. This looks a little different. I wonder if it's gonna, you know, like when you put the thing in, it clicks all the time. I wonder if it's gonna have that same issue with these trucks. I would assume not. That thing looks way high grade than, worse, than uh, what I got. But uh, yeah, not a bad looking truck. Oh, this one's got a bed liner. That's cool. Okay, I can't get the bed down. It's got us a weird bed design. I don't know what the purpose of all that is. Um, I mean, obviously it's got the holes and everything. I know you can put your straps. Ooh, this is sick. For people that use the bed, this will be very useful. I know me personally, I'm gonna love using this. Ooh, it's got the big interior lights. Damn, those are, those are massive. You know, in the in the Gen 5s from like uh, 14 to 18, they got it with it under here. I would assume this one also does. I think I feel some. Pretty sure this one's gonna have lights under there too. Um, but it's definitely got two big ass lights there. What is this? Oh, I just got an outlet back here. <coughs> well, I think the the wheel wells in here look kind of dope. I mean, they're low. So everybody who lowers this is gonna definitely need to uh, tub. <laughs> You're definitely gonna have to tub this. Ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life is that. Why is that there? Looks so out of place to me, y'all. Like, if you look at the the curves to it in the back just looks kind of weird don't it I, I think that's hideous what if we could do badge deletes in the bed that looks like it lifts up i don't think it does but it looks like it should <laughs> but yep that's be my video you know definitely have you know follow me on instagram at rpbc1 
Let me know what y'all think about these in the comments. Like I said, the funniest comment's gonna get pinned. Um, I'm sure I'll be pinning a couple of them because I already know y'all pretty funny. Um, thanks for watching. So, you know, subscribe, like, share this video, do whatever. Y'all have a good one.